Hi folks, Dr. Beyer again. Today we're going to talk about reason number four why you may still be suffering from digestive problems and your gastroenterologist or your doctor just isn't figuring you out. This it has to, relates to our gallbladder. Now last week we talked about how important it is for the stomach to, to, produce, that, to produce acids. If you put your finger into a healthy stomach, it would be down to the bone down in, thir in a matter of 30 seconds. That's how much acid should be in our stomach. Many of my patients that come to me have, are, are not producing enough acids in their stomach. They have low stomach acids, so when they eat, the food doesn't get broken down, they get bloated, and the acids they do have gets pushed up, and they think they have too much when they really have too little. Now, that's a condition called hypochlorhydria. We talked about that last week. What I want to mention this week is what that does to your gallbladder. When the food leaves your stomach, if it is not acidic enough, if you have low stomach acids, the gallbladder will not be triggered to contract. It is the acidity of your food when it leaves your stomach that will cause the gallbladder, right here in my very poor drawing, okay, to release bile. Bile is made in the liver and then it's stored in the gallbladder. And the reason why we need bile is to absorb our fats and our fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. And bile is also used to transport old toxins, especially our hormones, out of the body. When the food leaving the stomach is not acidic enough, the gallbladder will not contract. It becomes static, and grit will form in there, and stones will form in there. And the medical solution, that is what? That's just pull the gallbladder out. When if you just fix this underlying condition, we can restore gallbladder function. You can invite, absorb your proper, uh, your fats and your fat-soluble vitamins and get rid of hormones. I hope that helps. I'm Dr. Beyer. Have a great day.